Um, first things first, uh, congratulations to uh, Vermont. That's uh, uh, an outstanding team. Uh, we've been fortunate to play them twice this year. I've watched them play a lot. Uh, uh, wonderful players, um, an experienced, talented team. That front four um, is exceptional. Um, and uh, they've, uh, they've enjoyed uh, um, and should celebrate a wonderful year. Um, so congratulations to Coach Dow and, and his group. Um, and then from, from us, our perspective, um, just very uh, proud uh, for our guys um, to find a way to, uh, in, you know, another, uh, some difficult deci uh, conditions today, but I thought they were awesome, showed a lot of guts, character, and we're brave to, to try to play. Thought we created some good chances. And uh, um, you know in that that was a, if you haven't been to a, an Elite Eight college uh, uh, playoff game, that was fun today. And uh, I'm sure uh, our supporters and, and hopefully the Vermont supporters enjoyed it. All right, we have questions. Coach, you guys have been to the College Cup back in 2015, but what is maybe similar and different about this squad you have this year than back to that one in 2015? I think Calif was six then, weren't you? Right about then. It's um, um, it's you. Um, it's difficult to win uh, soccer matches, college soccer matches. To so to to go on a run and. Uh, uh, our body of work over the uh, uh, the year was good enough. We were afforded the opportunity to host and play at home, which was cr critical. You saw the atmosphere and the environment today. And for us to be able to play at home uh, could have been the difference between two very talented teams. Um, so, uh, but these guys uh, have showed, um, they've, they've got guts and resilience, a lot of close games, a lot of emotional games. Uh, and when we needed to today, really put the, you know, you've got some attacking guys here, uh, but they'll be the first to tell you uh, that everyone put their uh, bodies on the line today to get us over, um, uh, over the line. So uh, every team is different. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a special group of young men that have really grown and matured during the year, and I think they deserve to be uh, still playing this time of year. Uh, this question's for Kurt on your first goal, just with the wind howling today on your free kick, it kind of sailed the net. Just what was your, I guess, um, mindset going into it, just knowing with all the wins, you were on a lot of set pieces. How did you change you, your way you played up? Oh, nothing really changed. Uh, in practice, we go over set pieces a lot, and it's windy at practice, so I didn't, I didn't think too much of it, put everyone on the goal line, and I was fortunate enough for it to go in. Nathan, just what does it mean to be one of the last four teams standing? So I think uh, as a team, we all love to win because uh, winning is the best feeling. And I think uh, we want to achieve uh, something great as a team and be part of Syracuse history. So uh, the mentality we have as a whole, uh, we want to achieve something great. So we have to make sure we get to the final four. We can do something special. All season you've raised the uh, Syracuse soccer community and everything that they've done to support. This is the last game you're going to play in front of them, despite aside from the ones that we talked about in North Carolina. What do you have to say to them for their kind of performance in the crowd? I had a big smile on my face just as it was kicking off. You thought you could, it couldn't rain any harder, right? Then just as it was kicking off, the heavens opened and it came down, and, and you looked up and. Uh, celebrate the, the Vermont uh, crowd that, that uh, traveled as well, they're, they're following. And that was a special college environment. And uh, um, we've, we know our student body has, has, has stood up and come and uh, been a real integral part of the success and the journey these guys have been on this year. Um, and um, our student athletes, you saw a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of uh, young ladies and young men that came out uh, on a Saturday afternoon to just be part of this experience. And then our, our, our community is very knowledgeable, uh, very passionate. This is a very orange uh, community, as we all know. And uh, um, to see them, uh, I think that's the first time I've heard over the, uh, uh, the, the, the Tannoy system that, that uh, we have to put the umbrellas down because it was getting too windy. We were worried that uh, 
Um, I don't know, uh, uh, we're going to get some flying umbrellas at one stage. Um, uh, Mary Poppins moment, perhaps. But uh, a terrific environment, and uh, I think both sets of players um, uh, added to a, a wonderful college um, soccer match today. Christian, you just talk about the key saves from Russell and some key slide tackles. I know Olu had one that potentially saved the goal. Just talk about the scoring process for us. Uh, Vermont is such a talented group. Um, they're experienced, they're resilient themselves, they've come back and they've shown a mentality to find ways of winning soccer matches, football matches this year. Um, and you knew that they were going to keep pushing. Uh, a, an outstanding coaching staff um, and the way they, they got the ball forward, they got some real big boys uh, and our guys had to stand up, try to win those. But uh, you know, we're, we're fortunate to have uh, a, a terrific goalkeeper in Russell, that maturity that, that he shows. And when he needed to, uh, you know, they put balls in the box and he came, he claimed a couple, he, he punched. And um, he really um, showed uh, what, you know, uh, the, the other side of his game. He's a, he's a, he is a good shot stopper, but he also, he brought that calmness to us um, when our backs were against the wall towards the end of the game. Talk a lot about time and how important it is to have this time with these players. This is the last four that you'll get to play with this team and this group. Uh, what does that make you think of? I just enjoy it. We're going to enjoy it. And um, now, we're, look, we'll get it right. We'll get our preparation. I'm sure these boys are uh, going to be some tired bodies tomorrow. But just the, the opportunity to, to, to be with them. Um, as, as I said to you, and I talked to this group about, they, they've, they've really um, uh, become a, a tight group. Um, I'm very proud of them. You see the, the talent that we have on the soccer field, but there's... There's many more stories, and, and the quality is a lot deeper than that with some of those unsung heroes that uh, uh, were cheering uh, as loudly, and it was as if they kicked every ball today. So um, very pleased uh, for you know, all 34 players, our coaching staff, but it's more than that. I gave a hug to our grounds crew to be playing a game uh, in December. Uh, apparently, the, the grass doesn't grow in this part of the world at this time of year. Um, but for them to get that kind of sur uh, surface, you see the support staff we have. Uh, it's not just a group of players and a coaching staff. It's, uh, there's a lot of people that, that behind, the sign, uh, behind the scenes are an uh, integral part of what these boys have done this year. Cindy, that Coach, what was different about this game against Vermont versus the beginning of the season when you last played them? Uh, I think both teams have grown and, and got better. Um, I, they were missing a couple of their players. Look, uh, Alex Nagy is, uh, is a difference maker for them in, in college soccer. He's, he's terrific. He, he causes, us, uh, causes problems today. I thought Anthony uh, got around the ball and, and, and tried to make life difficult for him. But it's the same for us as well. Um, we had some guys. I think we've got better. That was the third game of the season. Um, but like that game, same to this one. It could have gone either way. Um, and uh, uh, we knew when the bracket um, uh, dropped that uh, we had some really tough teams in this bracket and, and we didn't look past them on. We knew that they were a wonderful group. Andrew? Uh, Kirk, I'm curious, now back-to-back -back games where you've got great teams in the second time of the year, you've got better results in both of those games. What do you think is different about this year? Uh, as coach said, growing stronger as a team, and I'd like to use the word brotherhood. Um, off the field, that correlates as much as the practices and on the field stuff. And the longer we stayed a lot together, the more time we have together, and I think that translates the biggest. Right. Coach, can you talk about the discipline that you instilled in your team? You saw a lot of yellow cards. Yeah, look, that's uh, it's an emotional game. You've got two very uh, teams that are going out at it, leaving everything on the field. Um, we've got some, uh, I don't think there was anything um, in those, you know, uh, in those cards. We just got some dynamic attacking players and, and I know I wouldn't like to match up with these guys. Um, so look, it's uh, uh, in providing a calmness 
Um, and I think we've, we've shown that. We've played in big games. And uh, be that North Carolina, Virginia, Clemson, now uh, playing against Cornell uh, after UPenn and this one. We played against some very good teams. And, and these, are, these are really games that could go either way. So I do think that having that uh, composure in those moments and uh, um, uh, have, have allowed us to find ways of winning games where last year maybe we didn't, we, we didn't get over the line. Uh, these guys have ensured that we're, we're still playing. Andrew? Coach, what did you learn back in 2015 from taking your team to the college competition with all these guys? Uh, I have no idea. I didn't even thought about that. Um, just trying to... Look, I, I want to ensure that we enjoy this. There's four teams left now, and... Um, so we're going to have a good day, a good week of practice. We'll get down there, we'll train, and, and we know that we're going to have a, a wonderful opponent um, and any one of the teams can, can go on and win this. Um, so I want to ensure that we enjoy this. Um, we're going to you know, look to get our whole group down there our whole, uh, and enjoy that. But, but also, it's, um, uh, we, we talked at the start of this, and that's where you know, you've got a good group. We weren't talking about UPenn, we were talking about going on a journey uh, and what was needed in order to try to win a national championship. Now that it's going to be us or it's going to be one of the other three teams. So uh, we're going to go down there um, to, to look to return uh, with a national championship. Time for some more questions. Sammy? Maybe it comes down to that, it's just another game mentality that you have, but first of all, the composure you guys have around this game to get the win. About what went through your heads, kind of when it got equalized, and further when you guys were kind of getting down to the wire, knowing you might be Yeah, uh, of course, going up early was a big plus, and then they equalized it, and I guess it might look like heads drop, but I think we have, I, I would like to say we're a very confident team, and we trust our ability and the players around us, so yeah, we went down and then, or sorry, we tied it, tied it up, it was tied up, and I think no one lost faith in. Everyone believed we could win. And as it got down to the wire, I mean, we trust our back line. We trust our, our goalie, Russell. He, he stood on his head today. And I think it just comes down to, to trust and belief we have within a team. All right. Last question, Sydney. For you, Hoku, what was your favorite part about today? Everything. I, I, I enjoy every moment. I Being away from family, uh, this is the only thing that keeps me going, makes me happy. So when I'm on the field, <clears throat> I enjoy every moment and make the best out of it. Thank All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.